Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Anton, and welcome to today's video for Legends of Runeterra. We're gonna be looking at a fun deck today. Is it competitive? Honestly, I don't think it's not that uncompetitive. I actually think there might be a spot for this deck in the meta. Uh, we're looking at a champ that I haven't played in forever, or seriously tried to deck build for in forever, but it's a classic, a fan favorite of a lot of people. We're building Yasuo. Now you might say, okay, streamer, cool. I like Yasuo, but what is it specifically that makes you want to deck build with Yasuo? One, the new Targon card. Uh, while I don't think it's great, it does make me want to play around with Yasuo. Two, Aphelios got buffed. Aphelios means Gravitum, so that's great too. Plus, Aphelios gives you Severum. Severum can be used to get a um, some Lifesteal without having to actually play Lifesteal in the deck, so that frees up some more deck slots. And number three, I think the meta is actually kind of decent for Yasuo. Not that many denies. Uh, removal is not too scary at the moment. Uh, not many mini morphs. Uh, Vengeance is kind of a rarity at the moment. Right of the Arcane is probably, and uh, Ravenous Flock are probably the most common removal spells, which are pretty good against Yasuo in all honesty, but whatever. Uh, but also, a lot of uh, decks are actually going for the elusive win con outside of Sundisk. Sundisk's play rate seems to be dropping, though, after people are starting to realize it's not that great. It seems like it's going to fall down to a solid tier two deck. And it will probably go back up in play rate once people stop playing like lots of Scorched Earths and other kinds of Noxus removal, landmark removal, and just anti-Sand Sun Disc decks. But with a lot of those anti-Sun Disc decks are playing elusives. Um, Ambush, Nandroid, etc., etc. Who is really good against these kind of decks? They're putting a lot of buffs and trying to go elusive or overwhelm? Stuns. So, Yasuo, perhaps? Anyway, though, let's go and look at the deck that I have created for this Yasuo Aphelios video. All right, everyone, welcome to the deck. So I'll be honest with you. There's a lot of uh, work to be done with this deck still. Pretty much just a rough draft. So don't take this list as is, I would say. You could definitely, there's definitely a lot of cards you can consider removing and adding. But every single card in this deck has a reason for being in the deck, kind of. There's a couple cards in here I just added because I couldn't think of anything better to add. Shield Vault and Sleepy Trouble Bubble, basically. Uh, but yeah, this deck, um, pretty much like most Yasuo decks, we're going to play our Yasuo and then we'll play some stuns. Now you might say, okay, streamer, um, what if your opponent kills Yasuo? Unlike other Yasuo decks, we're not that all in on Yasuo. And that's always been, I feel, a problem with other Yasuo decks. They use Yasuo, and they're like, if I lose the Yasuo, I die. If I don't draw Yasuo, the deck sucks, etc., etc. Uh, of course, if our Yasuo dies, or if we don't draw Yasuo, the deck is not as good as before, as if we were to draw Yasuo. But we have other backup win cons. Uh, Aphelios value, of course. Solari Priestess finding us, us stuff. Um, we're mostly using the Solari Priestess for removal. Uh, Ridden in Stars is good, too, to try to find... Yasuo or an Aphelios. Uh, finding Traveler to find more value is good too. A uh, couple of star shapings, some scattered pods, and some infinite mind splitters as well, just for ways to win. Uh, but yeah, like pretty much that is the name of the deck is just get some value and get just small incremental value and win from there. Or if we find an opportunity, swing with a big celestial and win the game that way. Uh, so yeah, not much to talk about. Let's just go through the deck really quick before we get into some games, and I'll talk about why I'm playing these cards and some potential cards that are not in the deck, but you could potentially play. Uh, first off, three Lunari Duskbringers, two Spacey Sketchers. I feel like all of my Aphelios decks are playing at the bare minimum this. When I'm building Aphelios, I like to start with triple Lunari Duskbringer and two Sketchers minimum. And then sometimes three, depending on the deck. But I think two is the bare minimum that I like to play. Uh, I might go up to three. Uh, Spacey Sketcher, finding Equinox is great. But Equinox is not that amazing in the current meta. I guess Equinoxing Neandroid is nice. 
Uh, but Skatcher can also find Crescent Strike too for your Yasuo, so that's lovely. Moon Glow as well. Moon, yeah, I think it's Moon Glow is the spell shield card, so it's nice as a two of. Uh, these are the two cards here I'm not sure about. Shield Vault and Sleepy Trouble Bubble as a couple more stuns. Uh, Shield Vault gives us some extra stats, and it's an extra stun as well, of course, so it can buy us time if our opponent doesn't open attack. Uh, Sleepy Trouble Bubble is actually kind of buffed. Paddle Star itself was buffed, so it is now dealing 5 damage. I don't really... I mean, it's ob it's objectively a buff, but it, it's barely a buff. Like The problem with Sleepy Trouble Bubble is not that Paddle Star was only doing 4 damage. The problem with Sleepy Trouble Bubble and Paddle Star is... One, your opponent has to attack or have their unit get stunned with Paddle Star, and with Sleepy Trouble Bubble, Paddle Star, that's two cards and five mana having to be casted for four damage, now five damage, and it's also slow speed, so that feels bad, but I kind of like Sleepy Trouble Bubble as an extra stun in Yasuo. Uh, I've thought about all kinds of cards for these two slots. Uh, just a couple of Pale Cascades is honestly probably better. Thought about some Steel Tempest, uh, Nopifies, Syncopations. There's a lot of stuff you can consider in this for these two two mana slots. Uh, recall, Retreat, etc., etc. So experiment around a bit, but I'm just trying out these two. Like I said, I'm experimenting around. Three Solari Sunhawks, basically just a three mana two three with a stun on a stick. Uh, helps level up Yasuo, stall a bit, so I play all three of them. Three Twins. Um, sure, Twin's been nerfed, but we're mostly just using it to keep our units safe, so it's still doing the same job. Uh, no Nopifies in this deck. I'm not a big fan of Nopify in the current meta. Um, but I still like some counter spells, so I am playing a couple of Denies. Deny is also a little mediocre in the current meta too, but I feel awkward playing Ionia with no counter spells, in all honesty. Three Aphelioses, of course. Uh, not gonna go down in the number of Aphelioses I'll play, so we're playing all three of them. One of Hush, I like the 1-1 one, one split between one Hush, one Blinded Mystic, so that's what we're doing. If I wanted another Silence, I think I would probably play a second Hush over a second Mystic. Uh, but this is what I like right now. Three Solari Priestesses, basically just here as a stalling card and for some extra late game values slash alternate win cons. Couple of Concussive Palms, we're doing a 2-2 two, two split here, two Concussive Palms, two Homecomings. No Will of Ionia, I'm not a fan of Will in the current meta. Um, this could also be switched up and be, I could see myself playing three palms, one homecoming, but I currently like this split I've got going, uh, two denies. I pretty much mentioned I already, already why I'm playing two denies and no nopifies. I just feel awkward not playing deny in a Ionia deck. I feel like deny is one of the reasons you play Ionia. Three Yasuos. Uh, we really just want to draw him. I wouldn't say you have to slam him down on the board on turn four. Maybe wait till turn five or so until you have protection mana or a protection spell. And then play him. Maybe play him after your opponent's wasted some removal on Aphelios. But of course we're going to play all three of them. Two Celestial Wonders. Not sure about this card. I mostly look at this card as like a Harsh Winds. Um, and Ash with Harsh Winds is okay, so Yasuo with Celestial Wonder seems it will be okay, so I'm playing two of them at the moment. Two Star Shapings, could definitely go up to three, but I just like it as a two of. Some Emergency Healing and the just, uh, surprise, hey, I win because I found Great Beyond or something is a nice addition to the deck. A couple of Scattered Pods, um... So the two scattered pods here are first off meant to be also an alternate win con, a 5-6 elusive. Uh, the tutoring is nice too. Uh, you could definitely cut also the Sleepy Trouble Bubble and Pale Cascade. If you were to cut those and add like fast or burst speed spells, that would mean if you use scattered pod to find a slow spell, you would always pull out Sunburst. So there is definitely a consideration there. Uh, a couple of Sunbursts mostly just here for Yasu or not Yasu Dex. Um, Pantheon decks, which while they're not popular, I still think it's fine to tech for them. Uh, and two infinite mind splitters. A lot of decks struggle to deal with this big boy. And we can actually turn him into a win con because of Infernum from Aphelios. So that's basically the deck. Not much to talk about there. Nothing too uh, crazy really for a Yasuo deck. 
Um, I don't think it's a tier, a top tier, tier one deck, but I do think it might have some legs in the current meta. Uh, with some fine tuning and with some more meta analysis, we could probably make this into a fine tier two deck. So let's go and play some games. What even am I playing against now? Okay, um, Nar, Fizz, Bandle City, PNZ. What even is this? I'm gonna assume Shell Folk, like Glorious Evolution Poro Cannon. In which case, as long as I draw a Deny to counter Glorious Evolution, I win. I'd love to draw a Aphelios now, please. That'd be lovely. Yeah, turn one pass. I mean, if they're not Glorious Evolution, what are they? I mean, they could just be Shell Folk, but Fizz Nar with no Glorious Evolution feels weird if they're still Shell Folk. Yeah, they're Shell Folk. Definitely. Uh, so that means they're playing Mini Morph. Well, we can't rely on Yasuo then. So much for him. I guess Yasuo can eat the removal that are Celestials. Yeah, this is definitely Shell Folk. So yeah, Yasuo will eat removal and leave our... We'll just play this. Leave our Celestials and Aphelios safe. Written in stars, I guess. I don't like any of these other cards. Kind of wish this was a Traveler or even a Comet instead. Alright, just gonna open attack here. Not a terrible draw. Really, I need my Radiant and Stars to find an Aphelios. I'll take a Yasuo, but I really want Aphelios. That's fine. I assume they're gonna just trade Pokey Stick. That's even better. That means they can't play Gnar this turn. And we'll just play Yasuo. As I was saying, we'll play Yasuo. Okay, double telescope opener. I'm so worried, though. If I don't draw that deny for that glorious evolution, I'm so worried. Okay. Not a terrible draw, but I have two Daybreak cards now. Um... Okay, you're from Telescope. I mean, I can pop the Spell Shield, but no thanks. I'll just play Solari Priestess. Traveler? Didn't I just get this? I guess I'll take Golden Sister this time. I'm pretty sure that's the exact same Invoke choices that I had uh, from my other one. All right, so we'll just play Lunari. And just attack in. Just a nice open attack. Pretty good draw, no deny, but still a decent draw. Come on, opponent. What, are you going to mini-morph now? There's no way you mini-morph now. You set up Glorious Evolution, right? I love how I'm still just thinking they're Glorious Evolution. Pokey Stick's annoying, but that means they're not... They don't have a um, mini-morph mana now. And we'll probably just rid in stars. There's a 60% chance I hit a Felios. Please don't fuck this up. Thank you. Good job, Arn Jesus. <laughs> you didn't screw me. I love ya. So that means uh get excited doesn't deal with this. Yeah, this is gonna be tough for them. 5-5 five, five, Aphelios is pretty tough. For them, of course. Uh how's my Yasuo looking on oh, okay. I thought I had stunned or recalled something once, but yeah. Hey, can we buff Yasuo Rito? You know, lower his level up by one or something. I realize he's probably going to get reworked in the upcoming champion rework, but you know, would it be too much to ask for? If they pass here, I'm probably just going to pass two and not do anything. All right, well, that's kind of a wide board. I don't really like this play, but maybe I'll hit something good here. I'll face the Calibrum. I will need to Calibrum this Ballistic Bot. Good card. I mean, it is a good hit if I could have Daybreaked it, but whatever. This is also why I played Crescendum now, so I can Daybreak 
next turn if they pass. I mean, Daybreaking's not that good, though, but... Okay, not a bad card. Daybreaking, I wanted a Daybreak Sunburst. There's not really much I would Sunburst where I care about the silence, but it's nice to have the option. As I was saying, good Sunburst target, I guess. Um... I'm gonna Sleepy Trouble Bubble this. I'm mostly doing this over the Sunburst because... I'm not sure if this is correct, but I mostly am doing this because I want the two cards for the Aphelios Moon Weapon. And so I can cast Calibrum this same turn to kill the bot. Like, I really want to kill this bot. Am I winning? I don't honestly know if I'm winning or not. Maybe I shouldn't have played this. I don't know. Like, I have Sunburst for the Shell Folk, but yeah. I guess I'd rather use this and save the Sunburst for Shell Folks. There's our Calibrum. Love to see it. And I will Calibrum now. I don't want to give them an extra Ignition. That would let their, like, Sump Work Fumes or whatever be active, etc., etc. Give them Discard Fodder for Get Excited. Don't want to give them that. We'll just phase the Graviton. We don't need Life Steal. There's nothing really I want to Graviton, though, but whatever. That's fine. We have full health. We can take a few Fizz hits. All right, play the Ignition. Yep. Still waiting on that Deny. Just still waiting. And then we've still got our Dust Petal Dust to help us activate a Aphelios and give us another Moon Weapon. Love it. Nice draw. We're just going to just start with this, of course. Could have attacked in with a 2-3 as well, actually, now that I think about it, but I am playing too fast. Because I'm impatient. One out of five for our Yasuo level up. Hate to see it. All right, but we're ready for that Shell Folk. Oh, we are ready. If they go below Shell Folk mana, that's not going... Yeah, that feels like they have a Shell Folk then. I'm just going to do this. Look for a Crescent Strike. Yeah, okay. And I might actually just trade the Dusk Petal Dust for a Moon Weapon here. Grab our uh, Gravitum. Maybe Gravitum the 3-1. Or just pick it up now. It would be nice. Come on, just play that Shell Folk. You know you want to. Well, that makes me just play uh, Golden Sister. Sure. The light of my star warms the hey, don't be weird and play... I don't know. What's the card I'm thinking of? So that's only four damage. We'll keep our boy alive. Of course. Still wish I had that deny, though. But I don't really know what my opponent's playing. It's definitely a Shell Folk deck. Like, they have to be Shell Folk, and they have to be playing Glorious Evolution Poro Cannons, right? Especially with Boom Baboon. I still don't really know. Like, they're playing Conchologist, Telescope. I don't know. Don't tell me it's actually Yordle Arms. All right, um... Sure. I've got an elusive chump blocker and I can crescent strike here. Like crescent strike these and then chump everything else. And I can phase the calibrum to help repopulate my board. Yeah, I'm liking that. Well, there goes our boy. Sadly. Yeah, yeah, Fizz. Get a level up. So this was a Yordle in Arms deck, though. That's so weak. Why are we playing Telescope still? 
I mean, I guess, um, what's it called? Just give me my crescendum here. Uh, you know that one deck, uh, Fizz Lulu, Yordle in Arms, still plays Telescope, but was this just Fizz Lulu, but playing Gnar this whole time? No way. Uh, so we'll chump like this, I feel. Sure, I could just guarantee some life gain now, but I like this play a little bit better. Gonna crescendum here, phase two, Calibrum. And my hand's looking a little weak, in all honesty. Ooh, that is a huge hit, actually. That helps me repopulate my board so well. A couple of nice chump blockers here for these boom baboons. I love it. And a twin. Oh, you shouldn't have. Um, yeah, we're just gonna attack in with this. Nothing special here. I assume maybe a chump block from a 2-2, two -two, maybe a 3-1. But yeah, now that I know my opponent's playing Yordle in arms, I don't think they can win. We're probably just gonna set up the infinite mind splitter this upcoming turn. Uh well, I'm definitely going to kill a 3-1, I think. And we'll phase to Gravitum. I'm probably stunning that Gnar, by the way. I might actually Sunburst Gnar, depending on what they do here. Like Pokey Stick Face, Time Tricks, whatever. I think I want to stun Fizz and... Oral cannon, it's whatever. So I want to stun Fizz. That's definitely something I'd like to stun. This will go through the spell shield if I target him. But I guess I'll stun I'll stun Nar instead. I can use Gravitum to pop this, Gravitum to stun the Chompers. There's some lines here. Feels like, okay, and GG, couldn't beat Infinite Mind Splitter. Love to see it. Uh, okay, sure. I'm against Majin Bay, and they're on Tri-Beam, so we lose. Uh, but yeah, like, Tri-Beam is probably one of the matchups we don't want to go against. Uh, terrible hand, by the way. But yeah, we're gonna, this deck is gonna struggle against Flock decks. Just how it is. Yasuo is nice, but our hand's not. Uh, but yeah, we don't really have a card we can play here. That's actually kind of bad. Like, really, really bad. Miss, not by a long shot. Yeah. We can't do anything about that, really. Let's of course, I draw him now. And we're just going to pass. I guess I have my homecoming here. I can homecoming to save my units. Yeah, we're not in a good spot. We're, we're, we're dead. <laughs> Look, forgive me for being negative, but we're against a removal pile deck and our... Our units? Not that good. Follow the wind, but watch your back. I'm bluffing Deny, I guess. I assume they're going to just play like Mystic Shot or Sentry into Flock. Um... So I could play Homecoming here, but I'd rather at least make them have two flocks. I like that play a little bit more. Alright, so it's a uh, do you have two flocks kind of thing. And we're just giving them another three mana card anyway. I guess I might as well make them have Caitlyn. Make them replay Caitlyn. I mean, two Mystic Shots will kill our Yasuo too. All right. 
I saved my boy, but now what? I guess I'll keep my 3-2 around. So yeah, like, that's great and all, but I'm out of cards. You stream, you have seven cards in hand. Yeah, but... They don't do anything. <laughs> and I just had to spend a four mana to save my one four drop from a one mana card. Well, what have we here? It would kill it. Uh, give me a fast spell here. Could go for a burst spell instead. It's interesting. Or a twin or something, but I'll take the fast spell. Another homecoming. Okay, okay. Not bad, not bad. So that's what? Three, three drops now? So the tri-beam is four damage? So they definitely have like a, some fumes or a get excited or something or just two mystic shots or two peacemakers. I'm doing this mostly because... I'm doing this mo- Really? You had no way to activate some fumes, huh? I'm doing this mostly because I want them to waste this removal to make my Yasuo a little bit safer. Like, that's a lot of removal just being used up right there. Now, here's the problem. Now what? I'm playing Yasuo. Tri-beam? Please don't tri-beam. I'll deny you! Watch out. Okay, so they went below Tri-Beam Mana. That's the good news. Now what, though? I am not a fan of that. I am not a fan of that at all. This will force them to have... Like, I can... Twin in response to Flock? This feels like a Scorched Earth setup, maybe? Okay. Interesting. Great draw to stop that upcoming Twin. Uh, if they Captain Fair in me here, that's actually great because I can get a lot of... A lot of, uh... Just free time to develop the board here if they fair in me. Uh, if they twin me, I'll definitely deny it and I'll still have six mana left over to play with. That seems nice. Yeah, we're definitely countering that. Do I want to summon a Felios? Do I want a Sleepy Trouble Bubble? I'm just going to pass. I think passing is strong here. Nice. That's actually really good for me. Um, hmm. I could kill Caitlyn, so I'm going to just start with the open attack. Yeah, let's just start with an open attack here. Okay, they took it. Interesting. So I lose my sunburst. Never mind. I lose that instead. That's actually really awful. Um, I really needed that. That would have been a great card. I'm going to do this and play a Felios. Uh, Immortal Fire seems great in this matchup. And I'll just pass here. Now, what am I phasing into is the real question. Archivist, hello. I can always twin if I want to. So yeah, Wolf Felios, and I think I'll phase into Crescendum because their board's a little wide. Thermo. I think I'm going to save him. At least save him this way. 
and this way I can play Crescendum and phase into Calibrum. I like this. I really like this turn. Seems good. That's a huge roll. I'm not going to kill any of these things, but that's a huge roll, unless I get flash bombed. Nice. No flash bomb, too. Love it. Love to see it. And I got a scattered pod, so, like, I'm starting to overload their removal. I love this. All right, there goes my immortal fire. Kind of don't like that. Um, yeah, I kind of really don't like that. Calibrum here real quick and phase to Gravitum. This way I can respond to removal with Concussive Palm to get a Gravitum. I also have Homecoming as well, so yeah, I like this. Seems good. That's their top deck, Mystic Shot. So I'm going to respond to that Mystic Shot with this. This will keep my Yasuo alive. I do like this play. There's the Homecoming. We're just going to save our boy and bring him back to full health with this. A little sad, though, that I don't get the 3-2, uh, but I think saving our Yasuo is worth it here. Destiny. Also love that level up, by the way. Now here's the real question. Now what do I do? Like, are they attacking in for four? I'll take it. I'll gladly block the three three and take the other four. So yeah, this next turn, just gonna play Yasuo. Just right away slamming Yasuo. I think I'll start with the pod, though. Well, I hate that. But yeah, just gonna start with a pod. Um, do I want a twin? No. Nice. That's what I was hoping to find. I feel like the way they win this game is with another strong, big tri beam. Vitalizing roar. Uh, I'm not countering that. Yeah, Baron, whatever. So I can play Yasuo into Gravitum to kill Farron, which is actually really cute. Uh, the phasing actually kind of matters, so give me Crescendum here. So yeah. Yasuo will strike this again because it's a second stun. This is pretty big, though, for them. So yeah, Farron will die. That's good for me. Uh, really would like to draw another Aphelios, though. And I hope I don't draw a Flash Bomb. Nice. Very nice. Uh, so we'll block like this. Nice. Don't take any damage from the Caitlyn because I didn't hit any traps. Would love to hit a... Written in Stars? I was going to say Traveler or Golden Sister, but Written's not bad if I hit a Felios. Culling is whatever. I'm just going to pass here because of Ezreal. I feel like I should hold up six mana now because of Ezreal. Yeah, I felt like they were just setting up that Ezreal. So I'm going to use this to kill Ezreal? No. I'm going to use Sleepy Trouble Bubble to kill Ezreal. This way I can clear the Aloof Traveler as well. Okay, that's fine. That is no problem. And now we can kill this. Sure, I don't have Deny Mana up, but I don't think I need to deny a Scorched Earth or a Flock. They're running out of cards. This is fine.
Ugh. Kind of annoying, but let's just do... Let's just start with this. Yep, jump block and take five. Love it, love it. Decimate, decimate coming up. I'm not countering this first decimate. I'll counter the second decimate, if anything. Second Yasuo is kind of mediocre, but whatever. And hopefully this. Really was hoping for an Aphelios there, but it's whatever. And we'll play this. Wow, those are not great hits, in all honesty. I was hoping for, like... Tra not Traveler, um, Doggo, Messenger. Serpent's not terrible. I mean, Serpent and Charger both die to Flash Bombs, so I guess I'll take Moon Glow. I really don't like it, though. I'm not countering that, by the way. Alright, so we'll play Twin here. Just gonna keep my boy alive. Uh, that feels like, since they're doing a 3 damage thermo, maybe that's another tri-beam that they're gonna use to try and win. I'm going to use this on my pod to keep my, try to keep my pod alive in case I draw another flash bomb. Because uh, I think this pod might be my win con. Solari Priestess top deck is huge. So as long as I have 10 mana, I, j I just need Sunburst Deny. 4 damage? 4 damage? Honestly, that's fine. Clear my oh, ho, ho. Hello. Um, yeah, you're scary. Traveler? Sure. I'll still have six mana from this, and I do want to silence this. Going down to three puts me into get excited range. They are playing some fumes, so it's not that scary, but it's still a little scary. Hey, don't kill my 2-2 two -two or 2-1. Two That's fine. I'm just going to send this in. This twin is actually a huge draw. It lets us really push for lethal now. All right, that is exact lethal. Love it. GG. Mystic Shot. I will go for lethal. This is exact lethal. Lethal with the twin. Nerf twin. And GG Majin Bay. Oh, well, I'm just running into all the known players today. So, uh, after getting done with Majin Bay, now we're against Zult. Uh, Zult's normally known for playing Lurk, though. I mean, Azir Aurelia is kind of like Lurk. I mean, Zult also loved playing Azir Aurelia, if I remember correctly, back when this was a real deck. As you can see by how much mastery they have. Uh, as for this hand, it sucks. Give me Yasuo. Give me a Phalios. Give me Lunari. I got one of those, at least. Uh, I got two Aphelioses, which kind of suck. Uh, but yeah, so this is going to be an interesting matchup. Probably going to lose, though. Can't really do too much against this deck. Hey, I found my Yasuo. I always find these champ. I find the champions, but then I don't find my... Do you have double... Okay, thank you for not having double Doomkeeper. I seem to find my champions, but not my Lunari Duskbringers a lot. But yeah, we're just going to play Solari Priestess here. Uh, and go from there. Comet's not that good. I'm just going to take a Golden Sister here. Comet's not that good in this matchup because it's not going to resolve. Why are we playing that, Zult? Just as an extra one drop besides Sparring Students, I guess? I guess it is a Fearsome Blocker? Okay, interesting. Interesting hand. Uh, Four mana... Excuse me. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, 
Yeah. You got it. Follow the wind, but watch it back. So how much damage am I taking here? A fuck ton is what I'm taking. A metric fuck ton. Um, so I'll do this block. They don't have pings. Every single sand soldier is a 2 1, though. Ugh. I could do this block instead, and then I take three less damage. Does that matter, though? I'm gonna stun Aurelia with the Sunhawk. I think I like killing the Marauder no matter what, so they can't twin in response to my Sunhawk. The problem is, now what? And I think I'll just let this go through. This way I can block a blade or something, I guess, with Yasuo. Yeah, that's kind of cute. So yeah, we're just going to open up with Sunhawk and then probably play a Felios, I think. Maybe. Depends what I draw here. All right, so we're definitely starting with Sunhawk. Love it. Really love it. Now, if they play, like, Defiant Dance, what am I doing here? If they play Defiant Dance, I think I recall my... I think I don't play anything. I think I'll let the Defiant Dance go through and just play Azir. Musicians. Uh, I can develop an Aphelios and play... Gravitum. And I'm just going to send everything and see what they do from here. I'm representing Twin, too, so that's nice. That's cool. Just a chump block. Love it. Do like that. So I'm thinking I'm going to Gravitum the Musicians, because I'll get the double stun, which will kill the Musicians, and then we'll, of course, face to Crescendum. Love it. Really love it. Nice, and the Musicians just die. Beautiful. That is actually beautiful. We play for the people and well, okay. Um, let's start with the Solari Priestess. Meteor Shower is not a bad draw. Warrior is not bad either, though, but I'll take Meteor Shower over Warrior. I think Meteor Shower plays around less stuff. So, I can... If I do this, it will kill the student. Yeah, let's do this. And I get another stun with my Sunhawk. Yeah, I like this play. Destiny. Oh, hey, my Yasuo levels too. Cool. That's a fast Yasuo level. Holy crap. It's one of my faster Yasuo level ups. Turn six Yasuo. And we'll just chump this. Love it. I doubt they're going to be able to actually activate the musicians this turn. Well, they did. I guess I forgot about that card, but yeah. I'm just going to take that. Now, here's the question. Now what? I could just kill this. Uh, so you have to summon, what, three? Blossoming Blade would level this up. So lead and follow, homecoming and deny, and twin would keep this safe. So do I just want to summon... Crescendum and phase two Calibrum, I think, to start with? I think this is how I want to start this turn. Health's looking a little low, though. That's my own fault. I was taking... I was being very liberal with how much damage I was taking because they don't have burn. So... One health is the same as four health, which is the same as, like, eight health. That's a terrible hit. I bet my opponent wishes they had one of those. 
Oh, okay. You did have one of those. Um, I'm taking it. <sighs> Am I taking it? I'm taking it. Yeah, I'm taking it. Get in there, Yasuo. Another Defiant Dance. That is fine. I'm taking it again. No, I think this time I'll chomp. My health is getting a little scary. And they had Aurelia. GG? Most likely? Yeah, I don't even have any good attacks here. 3 2 Aphelios gets blocked by a Ribbon Dancer, so they'll just play that. Yeah. And then she'll level up. Remember our Yikes. And fight for those who came before us. So, uh, how dead am I? So, chump there. Block. Chump. I know they're just going to switch here, but I can heal, I guess. The problem with this is they'll just play Flawless Duet and Blade Surge Aurelia in. I guess I can stun Aurelia? Yeah, we can stun Aurelia. Now, do I play Meteor Shower? Yes. Yes, I am. All right, so if this is like lead and follow, we die. Beautiful. I guess it could be a second Aurelia. If it was a second Aurelia, we were going to die anyway. Oh, jeez. Well, we're dead. Yep. Two more. Thank God this card's two mana. When this card was one mana, that was not a good time. Well, good game. We're just going to end it here. G, G. Sad. Poor old Yasuo. Too many tempo hits with Defiant Dance. All right. So, welcome back to the deck. Um, three games, two wins, one loss. Uh, we played against a weird Yordle in Arms Fizz Nar deck, uh, and then we played against Majin Bay on Tribeam, and then Zult on Aziralia. Uh, we beat the Yordle in Arms deck, we beat Tribeam, and then we lost to Aziralia. In all honesty, did better than I thought I would do. I kind of thought I would lose to Tribeam. I got lucky though in that I did draw my denies. Uh, but I was expecting to lose to Azir Aurelia. Uh, that wasn't even a good draw for them, too, is the thing. Like, they didn't draw their Azirs, their, um, Emperor's Deus, if they're even running that landmark. So, even with a bad draw, Azir Aurelia still stomped us. I mean, I guess they did draw a decent amount of recalls to send our Yasuo back to the deck. So, that was kind of annoying, but, oh well. It sometimes happens. You sometimes go against bad matchups that you can't do anything about. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'd love to hear your opinion on this deck and Yasuo. Uh, do you think Yasuo got some more power? Do you think Yasuo is still a joke? Uh, gonna be honest with you, I still think Yasuo is a meme, but in the right hands and with the right deck and against the right meta, I think Yasuo is actually solid in the current meta if you can run into a Riven Victor. Just uh ambush decks in general those elusive decks elusive piles uh sadly i didn't run into any of them but i would have liked to have seen them uh because i think hushes and stuns are pretty good against that deck uh so yeah that's gonna be it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like or comment down below always helps me on the channel out uh, also, if you want to keep up with the Legends of Runeterra content, you can always go and subscribe to the channel as well. And if you guys want to watch me play some Legends of Runeterra, 
you can go and check me out over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Zeniton, where I stream pretty much every single day. Anyway, though, with that all said and done, thank you all again once more for watching this video, and until I see you guys in the next one, um, bye!